Right then, Spear Shafts, part two. Slight change of plan. As you would have just seen, I had run the rounding plane down the whole length of this spear shaft you're making. Bit of a kink on the end there. Kind of see that, I think. But then the whole thing is very wobbly. There's a knot there, there's a knot there, there's a knot there, there's a knot there, there's a knot there. And with every single knot, there's a bit of a kink and a push. And it's kind of fishtailing down the length. And I'm not happy with it. So, plan B, use one of my dry seasoned fairly straight oh well never mind it was worth a try wasn't it onwards and upwards <laughs>
Well, that didn't go to plan, did it? <laughs> These things happen. Unfortunately, I couldn't make the spear shaft you see before you out of green ash because where is it? Here it is. As you've seen already, it's gone very wonky, very wobbly, very definitely not usable as a spear shaft. What's interesting in a weird way about this is I believe that the ash tree this came from has had a little bit of lead shot in it. I'll get you up close to it. After I turn this down, notice as I, was, as I was scraping it back, some sort of metallic substance in this knot. Try to dig it out with my ruler, the screw on the edge of my ruler, but, and it just smeared everywhere. So I reckon that's lead. It's not really something that's going to worry me. I'm not going to use this in combat, in any kind of reenactment combat, because, well, for one thing, it's actually sharp, so I can't. It's just a display piece. It's mine. It's there to go on the wall looking pretty. can hide that if I want to. So it doesn't really bother me too much. As I say, it didn't go to plan. These things happen. I'll get over it. I'll sleep tonight, no problem. One thing I did notice with this, though, is how bendy it is. Ready? I can make a bow out of that. Thanks for watching. Uh, have a lovely day or evening or morning, whatever time it is, wherever you are. And cheers.